Yeah, I mean, the best way to end the video. All right, so recently I've been thinking a lot about an idea that I think should occur only if you have like severe brain trauma. And that is, we have these devices in our pockets, right? So it's a Galaxy S23 Ultra and you have the S Pen with that device. And this looks eerily similar to something that you know, professionals would use for their professional work. Now on a more serious note, what I mean is the Wacom tablets, for example, that designers and artists use to interact with their computer with a more precise device. And so I started searching the App Store for something that will allow me to connect my smartphone to my computer and then interact with the computer in a similar way that a Wacom tablet, for example, would. And to my surprise, I actually found a couple of options. So there are some indie developers that have a few different options. And then there are like remote mouse apps that allow you to connect to your computer and use your smartphone as a trackpad or a mouse. And so in today's video, I'm just gonna do a quick overview of how that technically works and whether we can use it for gaming. So let's go. All right. so. The first thing that we need to make this work is something called Virtual Tablet. Uh, it's an app that you can get from the Play Store. And to make this work, you also need uh, the server for this app, which is called Virtual Tablet Server that you have to install on your computer. And here, as you can see, you can control the pressure, the cursor sensitivity, and etc., and change between how it works. So in pen mode, it's gonna tell Windows to uh, basically act as if the input device is a pen and in the mouse mode it's just gonna act as a mouse. So let's see if we can make this work. Uh, let's launch the virtual tablet app and we're gonna try to connect with Wi-Fi. Here we have the computer and here is the tablet interface. All right, so as you can see now, if you hover the pen over this surface that's called virtual tablet, this rectangle basically. What you're gonna see happening on the computer is it's basically gonna act as if you have a mouse or pen rather connected. So it basically matches the position of your pen on this uh, rectangle to your screen. The first thing I'm gonna try is Photoshop. Just to show you how this would work, for example, with brushes and with artistic work. So as you can see, I have the brush tool selected and what I'm gonna do is try to draw something basically. Now the best thing about this, in my opinion, is that there is almost like zero lag, like you can basically use this, like it's actually usable. Oh, it became choppy for a few seconds, but like, I don't know, man. I mean, this is pretty cool. Like, let's try adding some smoothness, although this is gonna affect the latency a bit, but this would allow us to draw like better shapes. As you can see, like on the edges of the screen, it gets kind of weird, but I think you can get used to this. Oh no. All right, so now let's try this with an image, for example, because when you're editing photos, it's not always um, the most convenient thing ever, basically, right, to use a mouse. Like if you wanna apply some blurring in some areas, etc. And we have this beautiful Star Wars AI generated image uh, that was made by Dolly himself. Let's pick the blur tool and let's see. Yeah, I mean, the intensity isn't very obvious at the moment, but I mean, in terms of like the movement that you get on the screen, I'd say like this is usable. Like I'm. I'm kind of sh shocked at how good this works. All right, so one more thing that I want to try this with is Lightroom. And I think the like the main use case for this would be masking something and working with masks in general. So let me just, uh, 
let's see, so we have the brush here and this, is, this would basically allow you to get a lot more precise controls over like the mask that you are creating and it works pretty well as you can see like there I'm shocked at how good the latency and like the precision and all that is so yeah this is like pretty cool uh, let's see we have the mask and we wanna I don't know like adjust the exposure this works pretty well uh, I guess this could like a good alternative for for example if you want to try and work with uh, drawing tablets or if you're thinking about getting one I think you can try this if you have a for example a, a Samsung with a pen with an S Pen and now for the best part alright so my pea sized brain could only think of one thing to try this with and that's obviously Skyrim so as you can see let's just create clear our beautiful canvas over here and attack this beautiful fellow let's see uh, like as you can see you're it's pretty glitchy sometimes and let's see if we can come on you have like no chance against the dragonborn that can basically right dragonborn and hit you while doing it come on <laughs> Yeah, let's just like Fusroda. Nice. Yeah, I mean, it's very glitchy, but yeah, it's fun. I mean, it's worth trying, I think. Uh, so, yeah, now that we've cheated our way through Skyrim, let's see how this works with uh, something else. Alright, so as you can see, we're in this beautiful scenery in Red Dead 2. Uh, so let's see. Uh, let's try. Oh, it, it's not doing anything actually in Red Dead, which is kind of weird, I guess. It moves like slightly, like a very slight movement, but it's not as glitchy as Skyrim. Let's try with a horse, seahorse. Um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't do anything, which I find kind of weird. I guess you can't play Red Dead with a pen, which is, come on, Rockstar, like give us, give us some gentlemanly options here. But I think I have just the solution uh, for this problem. So, okay, so the second solution that we have in order to uh, make it possible to game using the pen uh, is basically using a remote mouse which turns your smartphone screen into a trackpad for, for the computer, right? So uh, for this I'm just going to use this uh, age-old software called uh, Remote Mouse. So let's jump into the app. Um, so as you can see uh, with this one as well you're going to need a desktop client uh, so let me just launch the uh, app on the desktop and see if we can connect and you can get the desktop client from uh, the Microsoft Store um, let's see yeah uh, we're connected so let's uh, let's try gaming with this let's go all right boys let's go as you can see it works i mean this is just beautiful isn't it let's see if we can slay some demons i'm like in the most isolated part of the map so we only have these uh beautiful gentlemen as you can see a very distinguished gentleman I mean, like, come on, boy. You have, like, no chance against a man with a pen and some hopes and dreams. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Now, let's find something that we can fight. As you can see, we're using our pen as an input device. And this works beautifully. I mean, if you're looking into some hardcore stupid action, this is it, man. Gotta try this. Let's see. <laughs> so 
saw something here. Oh, he's already dead? Oh no. <sighs> oh god. Oh no. I mean, come on, I have a cheat. Like, you can't do anything <laughs> against me. Alright. So, as you can see, you can become the dragon lord of your dreams with a pen. This is beautiful. So yeah, uh, let's try let's try something else now. All right, now for the final test, uh, we're just gonna jump into some Red Dead action. Let's see. Oh yes, this works, and this works quite smooth as well. I mean, look at that. Yeah, we're gonna need to find some trouble for ourselves and see if we can shoot some bad guys with uh, with a pen. Let's see. I don't have a gun because I'm at the point in the story where uh, like not to spoil anything but like uh, <laughs> you know <laughs> things change and uh, you, you no longer have a gun. Let's see. Let's, uh, let's take the knife. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I really didn't want to do that. <laughs> let's see. Or maybe I have a gun? But yeah, I mean, this this is good. Like, if you have like a uh, brain trauma, this is totally a valid option, like to game, you know. So let me know what what else should we uh, try with this uh, majestic method of uh, gaming and uh, input. Like, my first thought was to use like with an FPS game, but I don't have anything other than oh. I think somebody needs our knife's attention. So yeah, I mean, this works, <laughs> but I'm not sure like how effective it is, but it works. Uh, if, uh, like we were trying to answer a simple question, right? In any way, so. Brilliant. Just, uh, yeah, I mean, the best way to end the video, I guess. So, yeah. Okay, so the only logical question I can think of right now is like you asking, like, David, should I just throw my tablet and my mouse in the garbage and go out there and get a Samsung with a pen to replace both of those devices? And I mean, the question depends on how much of a brain tumor you have at the moment. But yeah, on a, on a more serious note, I think the uh, virtual tablet app, uh, along with uh, basically a pen-like input, I mean, it works pretty well. So if you're doing like any Photoshop Lightroom work, I mean, you probably should try. Maybe it works for you. But yeah, with that, thank you for watching. If you like the video, be sure to slap the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also comment down below if you have any like brain damage-ish ideas that we should try in the next one. And yeah, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.